What's good, Internet? So we've got some DC news tonight from MovieWeb. DCEU officially becomes Worlds of DC. By Ryan Scott, July 21st, 2018. Oh boy, let's see what's going on. What was commonly known as the DCEU officially died at San Diego Comic-Con today. That sucks. But that's not all a bad thing. Pfft, well, we'll see. The studio didn't actually come in and kill the interconnected universe that they began with with Man of Steel in 2013. However, they made it very clear that it won't be business as usual moving forward, and that started with the studio officially rebranding their on-screen DC universe as Worlds of DC. Okay. Rest in peace, DCEU 2013-2018. to Jokes aside, the DCEU, or DC Extended Universe, was never technically an official name for the universe of connected movies, which is true. Um, But with Warner Brothers stepping out and giving it an official title with Worlds of DC, they're making a statement that the future is bright and they're going to make whatever changes are necessary to make sure these movies are much better or at least less divisive. If you're one of those who enjoyed Zack Snyder's vision moving forward. It isn't completely clear at the moment if this Worlds of DC banner will include movies like the Joker origin movie, which will take place outside of what was the DCEU continuity, We've been hearing that the studio will launch a separate banner to tell standalone stories for tum- some time now. Okay, now look. I know there are a lot of DC fans out there who did not want a solo Joker origin movie. We've seen his origins multiple times in cartoon after cartoon after cartoon and the movies. So please, If you're going to want to waste money, waste money on a character that we've never seen in live action, okay? You know what? In fact, why don't you take that money and make Batman Beyond? Let's uh, give Michael Keaton a -a ring-a-ding-ding and say, Hey, Keats, you know, we're doing a live action Batman Beyond. You're the perfect age to be um, the Bruce Wayne for this. So why don't you come back as Bruce Wayne slash Batman, retired Batman, And you're going to mentor this new cat named Terry McGinnis. He's a teenager. You know, he actually is technically your son because of some DNA shenanigans by Amanda Waller. But, you know, that's all besides the point. And um, I think that would be fantastic. I mean, maybe you could even get get Tim Burton back to... um, because this would be continue continuation of that franchise, you know. Um, go back into the Gotham of 1989 and 1992 and see what it's like in the future. And uh, I would pay to see that a bunch of times. And I know a lot of you would too. So, moving on. <sighs> so, so, so annoying. Um... Worlds of DC, without question, absolutely owned San Diego Diego Comic-Con 2018. I would like to see video proof of that. Um, That much is certain. To go along with the rebranding, Warner Brothers brought the house down with a ton of footage from their upcoming releases. They decided not to focus on announcing a bunch of future titles, which is smart because even when Marvel has done it in the past, it hasn't always panned out. Instead, they're sticking to what they've actually got in the pipeline. That stated with... I think it's supposed to be started, but it says stated. That started with some Wonder Woman 1984 footage with director Patty Jenkins and stars Gal Gadot and Chris Pine on hand to showcase it. This naturally went over well with the crowd. Now, okay, another issue I have is the fact that Chris Pine is in Wonder Woman 1984. Now, maybe he is in the form, somebody else in the form of of um, Steve Trevor. 
But we all saw we all saw Steve Trevor die a heroic death, or he a hero's death at the end of Wonder Woman. And if they bring him back, it's going to cheapen everything that happened at the end of Wonder Woman for me. And I'm going to have that problem with Wonder Woman 1984, even though it's set in the 80s, which is my favorite decade. I don't think they can pipe in enough 80s music and enough 80s big hair and and. Um, you know, denim and uh, ripped jeans and stuff to uh, even even let me overlook that. Moving on again, the studio is, the studio also released the first teaser trailer for Shazam, which is set to arrive in April 2019. Of course, anytime you say Shazam, it's got to be Shazam. Um, Zachary Levi, who plays a titular 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 hero, was at the event. Uh, Zachary's a good guy. He was in Chuck, which was an awesome show. He played the Thin White Duke in um, the Psych movie Christmas special this past December, and that was awesome. Um, The trailer, this trailer, more than any of the other footage shown, makes it clear that they are going for a serious change in tone moving forward. Optimistic, light, fun, enjoyable. Again, there are a lot of defenders for movies like Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. I'm one of them. Um, but Warner Brothers can't afford to keep playing things that way. Shazam! Shazam! Looks like a real crowd pleaser. Um, yeah, and I get it. They lost a butt ton of money on ba- uh, not Batman vs. Superman, but Justice League. But perhaps if they would have let Zack Snyder do his thing and not fire him under false pretenses. Yes, his daughter did commit suicide, but they fired him right around the same time. So Joss is a great producer and writer and director, but, uh, you know, he went into a dark movie and, and lightened it up. And I know that's what Warner brothers wanted, but it just doesn't fit with the other, um, the other two movies that uh, Zach did. Um, lastly, Jason Momoa and director James Wan came out to introduce the Aquaman trailer, which was pretty awesome by the way. Uh, which was probably the most hyped bit of footage coming our way this weekend. This looks to be much lighter in tone and a great deal of fun. Lighter in tone, maybe a little bit, but it was still pretty dark in pieces. Um, But I could tell a definite definite, um, separation from the Snyder vision and this. Even though the stakes are high with a war between Atlantis and the humans on the surface brewing, This is a change for DC on the big screen. Aquaman is the first of these new movies to hit theaters on December 21st and will be the first Worlds of DC movie to hit theaters. It will become more than a year after the disappointing Justice League arrived last November. Warner Brothers came, saw, and conquered San Diego Comic-Con in a big way this year. Again, I need video proof of this. To make sure that they actually did conquer anything. But um, let me know what you think. It sounds like they're trying to get back to the um, Christopher Reeve era of things. You know, being light. And um, hopefully not Superman 3 and beyond. Because that wasn't just light, that was campy. But uh, even the uh, original Keaton Batmans. You know, if, if we did a mix between... The uh, Christopher Reeve and Keaton films, you know, and came out with a hodgepodge thing, you know, I would be okay with that. But um, let me know what you think. Comment down below. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll be notified when we post new videos. And also, if you would be so kind, share this video with your comic-loving friends, and I will talk to you again later. Take care, guys.